Hi, this is James from Junior Developer Central, and in this tutorial, we're going to look at enhanced object literals in ES6. So an enhanced object literal in ES6 is basically a shorter way of writing an object literal. And if you didn't know, an object literal is something just like we've got defined here with our user variable, and the object literal is everything inside the curly braces, consisting of properties which can either be values or functions. So there are three things that we'll look at in this video, the property shorthand, the method or function shorthand, and also computed properties. So the first thing we'll look at is the property shorthand, and you'll notice the three properties name, pin, and is admin of the user object are all constructed from local variables. So you'll see above in the top three lines, we've got name, pin, and is admin already defined. So when we're constructing the user object, it's a bit tedious to write name, colon, name, pin, colon, pin, etc. So with the property shorthand, we can simply remove everything after the colon. So our object now looks like this, and if you check the output on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see it's exactly the same. So this is a really convenient shortcut for writing properties for enhanced objects in ES6. Of course it'll only work if the variable names match the properties that you're trying to set. So the next thing I said we'd look at is the method shorthand property, and that works in a similar sort of way, but when you're defining functions that are related to your object. So we've got one of those already in our object, and that's the authenticate method, and it's basically a function that can be called on the object. So calling user.authenticate1234 gives us a true value back. So whilst we could update the authenticate method to remove the function keyword and use ES6 arrow syntax, there's an even shorter way of writing it. So you can see that we can define a new method simply by giving it a name and putting any parameters inside the parentheses and then having any statements we need for the method inside the curly braces. So this is another shortcut with enhanced object literals in ES6 that will make your code a little bit neater, and it's a common pattern that you'll see in many frameworks and libraries. So the final thing to mention about enhanced object literals is computed properties. So for all our other properties, like name, pin, and it is admin, for example, they all have a set name. But what about if we wanted to add a property name based on the value of a variable? Let's say we had a variable called role, and let's just give it a role of dev. To assign that to the object, we would need to just use the square brackets where we define our property, and then we'd say role, and just say we wanted to set that to a value of true. When the object is constructed, the value that's inside of role, in this case dev, will be set as the property name. And you can see that in our object on the right hand side of the screen, we now have a new property dev, which is set to the value of true. So this is really useful when you don't know what the name of a property of an object is going to be. For example, when you're receiving data from an API and you want to construct an object with that data. So that's just a brief look at enhanced object literals in ES6. As you can see, there's not a huge amount to know about, but it is common to use these techniques, especially if you're following a style guide like the Airbnb style guide, which recommends using these ES6 features. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, just drop me a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more web development tips and tutorials.